Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Occasionally on this channel, we like to look back over our past videos and see which ones need some improving. So in this video, we're gonna be doing the three lead 10 byte Turk's Head bracelet. The last one did it in one color and we're gonna be adding a second color for this one. All you need is 10 feet in one color and five feet in another. But those estimates are pretty generous. You can probably get away with four and eight feet. I'll also be using a FID. That's not necessary for you at home, but it just helps you guys see what I'm doing. So with that, let's dive in. So to begin, we're gonna start with that end that does not have the fit on it, and we'll begin wrapping that around our hand. So put that end up, pinch it underneath your thumb, and begin wrapping. First to that left side, and then it's gonna cross over back to the right. Once more around the right side of our hand, and we'll stop there. Now we're gonna be going through the cords. So we'll take the end, that's this cord right here, and going over that first cord and underneath the second. Pull all that slack through. So that looks like this. And you wanna make sure that it fits comfortably on your hand with your fingers slightly spread apart. That'll be a good size for it to fit on your wrist later. Continuing on, we're gonna give these two cords that we just wove through a little bit of a twist. So we'll bring this right side cord over the top like that. Then we have this hole right here. I'll spread that a little wider so you can see it. That we're gonna bring the end of our cord down through. So over that first cord underneath the second. And that's gonna be a recurring pattern. There we go. So now we're probably at the bottom of your hand. We're gonna shift that up. And we're gonna do the same thing, just crossing those cords back over. When moving towards the left, that's just kind of how they naturally sit from our last twist. So it should look about like that. And we'll take that end of the cord again, over the first cord, underneath the second. Make sure that you get any twists out of your cord as you're weaving. Shift it up if you need to. And we'll do the same thing again, that right side cord, over the top to make this hole right here. Over the first, under the second. Shifting up again, you'll notice that your next cross is made for you. So we're gonna go down right through there. Shifting up around the home stretch. I'm gonna make sure that this cord doesn't fall through. I'm just gonna tuck that between my fingers down there. And we'll make one more twist, that right side cord over the top. Here, I'll show you guys that again. Right side cord over the top and coming down through there with the fit. Now we're back to where we started, right alongside that standing end. And if you count, you should now have 10 bites or 10 bumps along one side of your bracelet. At this point, it's a pretty thin, narrow bracelet. We're gonna follow this cord back through the entire knot, and then we'll have two stripes. With our second color, we'll be adding a stripe in between them. So what I mean is this, right where your standing end sticks out, we're just gonna go right to the side of it, and wherever that goes over, we're gonna follow it over. Wherever it goes under, we're gonna follow it under. We just wanna make sure that this cord that we're weaving back through now 
never crosses over this one right here. So it's just gonna sit alongside parallel to it the whole way through the knot. So we'll speed through that and catch you once we've completed that second layer. Once we're done weaving that first color, it should look about like this. And it should still fit over your hand. Um, now's the time to loosen it up if it doesn't. Mine just barely does. It'll get a little bit tighter as we add that third row, but not by much. So now with that second color attached to my fid, I'm just gonna follow those cords through, but I'm gonna go between the last two rows. So we got these two rows right here. There you go, now you can see them. I'm gonna follow through, coming out right in between them. So we're starting right where that other chord ended. Or where we first began, actually. So pull it all the way through. And again, this one you can leave attached to your hank or spool. I'm just gonna leave a little bit of extra there so it doesn't fall out. And then we'll follow it through just like we did with the, the second row, except we're going in between. So you just wanna make sure it sits there each pass you make. And there we are, finished it off. So right now we have the end of our cord on the bottom and we start it on top. So you can just poke those down through. So now with all the ends on the bottom, we should be able to cut them off and finish them and make it look like one seamless piece of rope. To do that, I'm gonna turn the whole thing inside out just so we can see what we're doing. So with everything laid flat how it's supposed to be, so I like to melt the like cords together. So I'm gonna to melt white to white and red to red, um, but you can melt them all against the back of the bracelet or do whatever you want there. So again, before you cut your cords, make sure that none of them are pulled too tight um, as that'll interrupt your pattern. So if you have any colors that are bending over each other or things like that, make sure that's all worked out before you cut the ends. So there you have it, the classic nautical Turk's head bracelet in two colors. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and are able to try it for yourselves. As always, we put a link to Paracord down in the description if you need to buy some. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.